you can feel that they got a problem like that at home. That's right. That's so true. Amen. But then when you get folk, you ask folk to do something, oh, 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 no, 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 ain't ready for that. Yeah, because you, you right, you, you right. I see it again, but you ain't, you know what? Because you ain't trying to sharpen it at home. You ain't praying at home like you should. You ain't studying your word like you should. And you ain't fasting and praying like you should. I mean, think about it. What is your motive? People keep, God has a call of God on every one of us. And then some of y'all been in here so long and you still ain't walking in your purpose. What's wrong? You better go on and preach. You know what you been called to do. Slumber and sleeping, my Lord. Why are we operating in? We come to church week in and week out. And you telling me you still ain't motivated to preach or do the will of God? What we want to do? Yes. Think about it. He didn't call us here just to be bench warmers. That's right. 5, 10, 15, 20 years, and I still ain't walking in my purpose. What's wrong? You come to church, yeah, we know right off the top. You come in as a sinner, yeah. You get converted, you get delivered, you get cleaned up. God do what he do, he work the work in you. But after a while, man, it's supposed to start being a shift. Come on, after a while, some should begin to ready to give birth after a while. Come on, have you seen people pregnant for two years? I, I, I see it. I didn't see it. I'm talking about in the spirit. Some of y'all been pregnant three or four years and still ain't gave birth to the Holy Ghost. Man, what's wrong? What kind of pregnancy is that? Teacher. Hey, man. Ten months. That's, That's right. right. It is really ten But come on. Somewhere down the line. It may take us a little longer than that, but come on. I know. We should be giving birth to something. That's yeah. good, right. Pastor, my Lord. Yeah. Oh, you helping us. You know what it is? Some of y'all got a stillborn. <laughs> That's what it is, Pastor. Yeah, you feel something in there, but it ain't nothing moving. <laughs> come on. You ain't that right. The spirit get high. Boy, everything, man. You sitting there like... Huh? Like somebody like you that ate some wrong meat or something. Oh, Come on. Now. Lord, we got some of y'all pregnant, but that was still going. Ain't nothing kicking in you. Ain't nothing swirling and turning around. Ain't nothing moving. Huh? What's the signs of, of, of that you're pregnant when you are pregnant? That baby, I'm, oh, he kicking the night. That night time or something. Ain't somebody night time? A farm, Pastor. Oh, he's kicking you to death, ain't he? So I'm kicking you, coming up the top ropes, uh, moving that sign of life. And you telling me you pregnant? It ain't nothing kicking in you. Come on, man. Huh? Ooh, a farm, Pastor. It ain't nothing pushing you. Yeah. So I hear some women say, I'm so ready to get birth to this. Mm. I'm tired of being pregnant. Ain't you, you say you're ready to get you tired of all this stuff on here, kicking Ooh. you to death, and all this stuff all up in your neck area and all that can cut your breathing out, making you eat stuff you never designed to eat. Huh? Ooh, you be ready. You telling me you pregnant with the Holy Ghost. Huh? And you ain't ready to push this power out. You ain't ready to push this anointing out. Why are you crazy? You ain't going to God. You ain't ready to push this deliverance out. Come on, you ain't ready. Huh? You ain't what's been, you ain't ready. Well, hey, us, Jesus. And that's up. Oh, you preaching. Hey, we walking out here. In the spirit. Oh. And I heard Isaiah say, when you did push, you brought forth wind. He said, when you did push, you brought forth as if it was wind. People push! And y'all pushing the wind coming out. You know what I mean? Spiritually, you testify as hard as you can, but ain't no anointing. You sang it hard as you can, but ain't no anointing. Come on, you trying to encourage somebody all you got, but ain't no anointing. Come on, you're preaching. Come on, don't nobody feel it, and you don't either. Come on, glory to God. All these symptoms, huh? My Lord, I'm gonna give birth. Church, we gotta give birth. I mean, how long you gonna be pregnant? 
God. Can't keep using that. Jeez. What you doing to where you can't give birth? That's right. Huh? Because people do stuff to harm their own baby. Yeah. Huh? Being reckless and careless. Yeah. Like smoking cigarettes and pregnant, naturally. Mm-hmm. Uh, that can affect the baby. That's right. Smoking weed and pregnant. That can affect the baby. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So what are, what are some of y'all doing? Mm. That's affecting your baby. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Mm. What's, what, you, what you doing? Jesus. You may not be smoking, but you're doing something else. Yeah. It's affecting your baby from coming forward. Huh? That's some defects. Sloughness. For ladies, that's sloughness. That's a whole other message, yeah. Laziness. So oh, no, I don't feel like pushing this thing. That's too much labor. Yeah, that's right. It's not like some turf ropes. Man, I don't want to pray. I just want to come and let them lay hands on me. I ain't got time for all that. All that laying down there crying. I'm spitting and foaming at the mouth. I ain't got time for all that stuff. I don't want nobody to see me doing all that. Huh? Some folks, y'all are so lazy. That's right. Lazy. How you going to get better some of you lazy? Because when it comes to labor pain, when it's time to push, oh, ain't no time to go lazy. It's time to get down to business. Some of y'all been walking around here like this in the spirit. You look real healthy out and pregnant, though. Ooh. But come on, I'm still going on the inside. Don't want to do nothing. Oh. Two or three years, we still ain't gave birth. Don't tell me the tongues don't come with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, do. I don't go there now. Yeah, it, it come with it now. Who got on the tennis shoe? Do we got a tongue on it? Or did you have to go buy the tongue separate? It came with it. So you telling me somewhere down the line if you get birth, the tongue needs to appear. Huh? I hope those y'all got. Huh? I had to hold those five years, six years, ten years. Come on, it ain't no tongue flow nowhere. Because when I read the Bible, it says they received the Holy Ghost and they spake with tongues. Shopping carts and money for a phone bill and money for a light bill. Come on, the devil in your backyard for to take over your children in your house. Come on, man. Come on, the devil so strong on some of our children, and we don't even see the devil yeah. in our house. And we're too busy down there praying for all this old carnal stuff. Yeah, yeah. Come on, cars and raises on jobs. Man, come on. Hallelujah. Where is it at? Cornelius right here. Let me see right up here. Go down. Peter open his mouth. Minute then. Surname Peter received. Uh, God anointed Jesus. 
And that's what's right here, Acts 10, 13. All right. While Peter yet, 44, I think it's 40, Acts 10, 44. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word, and they of the circumcision which believed were astonished, and as many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. For they heard them speak with what? What, what, what verse is that? 46. 46. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify. Huh? Now you see it right there. Then answer, please. Now you see that? For people don't think that it come with it. It's in the word. Huh? We go to Acts 2 if you want to. All of a sudden, they heard the sound of heaven as a worship mighty wind. All 120 of them, fire colored tongues sat on top of them. They all received the Holy Ghost and they all began to speak in an unknown language. All 120 of them. Don't tell me you year in and year out, year in, year out, year in, year out, and you ain't never, tongues ain't never intercessing. Gonna realize that's what I say. If we come to church, man, we need to have the right tools. Some of us got toolboxes, but come on, man, we need something more than a muzzle bitch. Now, we need some vice grips, man. We need some, we need some ratchets and, and, and all that. We need some more tools in our box. Stuff we carry got the wrong tools in there. Hallelujah. Those screwdrivers, anybody got a screwdriver? Come on, anybody got a muzzle bitch? And we need some real tools in our box. Something that's gonna edify folks. Something that's going to build folks up. Yeah. You understand? We're supposed to be like spiritual mechanics yeah. with these tools we got. Yeah. Huh? Didn't say give me this. Yeah. Yeah. But it's gifts in the Bible. Wisdom. Now, come on, let's go there. Let's go to first 12. We don't forget. Knows what we need. Amen. Or is it 12? The gifts are 13. What is it? No. No, I'm talking about Corinthians. Now it's concerned with 12. Acts, first, first Corinthians, I mean, first Corinthians 12. Mm -hmm. Everybody there, so you don't say, oh, you just made up something like, to my toolboxes and tools and all that they had nothing to do with the gospel. Now, these are gifts. These are tools that God gave us. Everybody there? First Corinthians 12. Now concerning what? Spiritual gifts. Brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that they were Gentiles. Unto these dumb idols, even as you were led, wherever I gave unto you, understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God called him Jesus a curse, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the what? Holy Ghost. Now there are diversities of what? Yeah. Gifts. So many different tools we can use. Ooh. Lord have mercy. But the same. But the same. Hey, I can't teach my. That's his gift. Huh? Mm. That's his gift. So what I'm, what I'm mad at because he can break down the word. Yeah. Huh? The gift of edify. We got the same spirit. Mm. Now there are diversity of gift, but the same spirit. Now there are differences of administrations, but the same. See, other churches may do something different from us. That's right. But as long as the Holy Ghost and Spirit of God is there, that's right. Hey, we all get edified. Yeah. Right? At y'all church, brother, y'all can do different things, but it's the same. Spirit. Spirit. That's right. I mean, he should be able to come here, and we go there, and both feel like we're where? At home. Yeah. Right. It was the same. It was the same. Spirit. My Lord. Huh? Yes. What, what must go when you do that? Huh? Try the spirit. Then you ain't never had the same what? Mindset. Huh? Right. You pray, you pray. God breaks you give. You know, he give her down all the revelation of the word now. He give her a parable and a heartbeat. A parable of court you come up with. You know it comes from God. I'm gonna sit there now, man. You ain't you ain't you ain't come on. It's the same spirit. We need it. It's the same spirit. And there are diverse operations. People operate differently. But it's the same God which working all in what? Y'all do it different, but it's all about the same spirit. That's right. All in the same spirit. They are right, brother. All in the same spirit. They are right. Yeah, they are right. Amen. They ain't going to sit down like that. They are right. But the manifestation. Yeah. 
of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Now you tell me you got a manifestation, you ain't profiting nothing. Huh? He gave us a manifestation, right? When something's manifesting, what is he doing? It's edifying, it's showing itself to be real. That it was gave to you by God because you were sick and you got well. You was discouraged, now you're incurred. Yes, man, it's supposed to manifest in us. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, we got saying it come from God, but nobody's being edified. Mm, mm, mm. Now you can't get mad at nobody but yourself. That's right. My Lord. If you choose to lay doormat, if you choose just to come to church and all you want to be is just another number on a roll call, that's between you and your God. Some folks comfortable with just being a, 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 a mirror on the wall. A mirror on the wall, it's there every service. It ain't going nowhere. It's faithful. It's committed. But it can't help nobody in here. I refuse to be a picture on the wall in the house of God. Amen. I'm just a statue in the church. Jesus. I'm just another vessel that just fills the chair. I don't want to be a number in the house of God. That's right. What number are you? Oh, I'm number, I'm, I'm, I'm number 86. And that's all you know. It's more to it. Come I'm, on now. I'm taller than that. God gave a gift to every one of us. That's why he told Timothy, you stir it up. Stop the gift of God that's in you. Don't forget the gift that was given to you by the lay on the hands of the provincial, by the elders of the church. They laid hands and showed you the gift that was in you from God. Right, it's the word. Stir it up. You stir it up. Not your leader. Not the mother of the church. Not the deacons of the church. Huh? Not your sisters of the church. Come on. But you serve the gift. You get it to work. You get it to the point where it's all right now. You get it there. So Y'all sit back and, and just get so lazy and comfortable. Oh, you in God now, huh? Ain't nothing turning to you. Don't get comfortable being dead. Nothing to stir. My Lord. When you know the call of God was there. Some of y'all was anointed, but what happened to you? None to stir, my Lord. Don't oh, let the trials and the things of the world and what I ain't got stop me from serving God. Come on, it don't matter. He's like, get like Paul, like he said Sunday. Paul know what it was to be cold and naked. He know what it was to be destitute. That means he knew what it mean to be without the life necessities. Paul knew how to struggle, but in the middle of a struggle, he knew how to survive. He knew how to pray. You got to Come on, you gotta get yourself out of it. Come on, you gotta break your way out of it. Come on, that's what God said. Stop being cute. Stop being proud. And realize you're in a mess. And call the name of Jesus. Come on, glory to God. You gotta get like the prodigal son. Come on, yeah, you didn't go back to the world. But you went back to the home pen. Somebody out in the home pen. Come out the home pen. Yes, 
sitting there wallowing with the pigs. I'm just comfortable now just being messy. I'm comfortable now this all anger. Some of y'all done got so bitter because of what you're going through. Come on, y'all better quit that stuff that light up. God sent a warning before destruction. Huh? Come on, you're in the last side. Don't see it in your way. Huh? Come on, and come to God. Come back to God.
Yeah. 